And what you are is a racist, misogynistic, xenophobic, Trump-loving, cis-straight white man. Hold on, hold on, bro. Oh my gosh, dog. Now, I may not be the smartest human being on earth, okay? But as a funeral is supposed to, you you supposed to think about the good things that a person done did. I'm pretty sure that her father didn't live a whole life full of just hate. I'm pretty sure he has some good moments in his life that you could remember. You know what I'm saying? You call him a racist. You call him all these different names at his funeral. A moment where you're supposed to be grieving. Grieving and thinking about all the good things that your father done did. Even for you. I'm pretty sure he did a lot of good things for you. But for you to sit here and call this man a racist and a Trump supporter. Are you saying that he all these things because he supported Trump? I don't know the backstory behind her and her father. Maybe their relationship was chaotic. I don't know. But all I know is that a lot of people will call white people racist because because uh, a lot of white people support trump but i'm a uh, supporter of trump so what does that make me and i'm black i don't know bro but this nah nah somebody need to get her off the stage dog somebody needs to get her. she don't even deserve to speak no more bro against you i'm not afraid to share my peace you are everything i aspire not to be and i refuse to stand up here and sing the praises of a man who is the paradigm of white supremacy so I'll take your racist mindset, I'll take your money, and I'll take your advice. And I swear to God I will make this world a better place. Not at all because of you, but in exact opposition to you. Thank you. Why are y'all clapping? What the? It's, bro, it's y'all st... No way they all just clap. No way they all just clap. Bro, that was nothing but straight hatred at a person's funeral, bro. And y'all... Why? Because that's his daughter? <laughs> oh my gosh. In my mind. Insert cash or select payment type. How does it feel to have a real Pro, no way. Fights to keep the poor man poor and make America great. He can't see that his kids are dying. We're the ones he wants locked up. And he can't fight for his kids that aren't white if he just wants to stay stuck. I knew that a time would come where I couldn't tell him thank you. And now the time has come where I can't tell him thank you anymore. And while he has done a lot of negative sh he's done a lot of positive sh for me too that I'm very thankful for. And I just really want to remember to tell the people in my life that I appreciate them and I'm thankful for them. Even the people that I have beef with, even the people that I'm not so close to, I want them to know that I'm thankful for the role that they've played in my life and making me the person that I am. The black experience is literally an experience like no other. Which is exactly why I'm at an HBCU and pretty much only want to have black friends and partners. It is just literally impossible to explain the black experience. Like you can have a black husband, you can have a black child, you will literally never understand the black experience. Saying that I could be racist the same way a white person could be racist completely invalidates the racism experienced. When white people experience what they call racism, it's like they're being called a Karen or they're being called a cracker or something. 
When black people experience racism, it's being thrown in jail unnecessarily. It's being shot in the streets for literally doing nothing. For literally doing nothing. So you think that black people are just out here getting shot for doing nothing. You people are just so delusional. You people are brainwashed. Do y'all not realize that the things that certain black people do, it's consequences behind everybody action. So if a black person go out here and do something harmful to another individual or even to the police, guess what? It's the consequence behind the action. I seen a, I, okay, for example, I seen a video of this young teenager. He's black. Okay, he got shot by the police at a gas station. Now, I seen this video. He pulled out his pocket, but he waved his phone to the police as if it was a gun. And y'all, and y'all, y'all don't see the reason why he got shot. Okay, first of all, you you running from the police. You dig in your pocket. You wave your gun. I mean, you wave your phone. But bro, police ain't thinking about oh, son, it's a phone. Guy. It's like no, bro, we in the midst. You're running and you just dig in your pocket and start doing this in the back. I'm gonna shoot you too. I ain't gonna lie. Like. You people are just, bro, you people are stupid, bro. You were talking about the black experience, the black experience. Bro, there is no black experience. Yes, everybody dealt with some type of trauma in their life. Everybody, not just black people. Okay, you talking about, oh, when white people experience racism, they're getting called Karens or crackers or this and that, and black people getting thrown in jail. Do you not realize that white people are getting thrown in jail? Do you not realize that white people are getting uh, beat by the police for doing nothing? I just seen a white man uh, get beat by the police. Literally, he's getting his head smashed to the ground. Oh, but the media didn't put that out there. Why? Because it was a white man. Oh, okay. Oh, did you not know that somebody else, a white man, I forgot the name of it. I think it was like Tim's or some whatever. He died the same way that George Floyd died. Oh, we didn't talk about it because he wasn't black. You people are just hypocrites, bro. Y'all pick and choose what y'all want to talk about. Y'all pick and choose what violence y'all want to talk about. In the media, they pick and choose what they want to put out there to brainwash everybody. They're trying to program black people to think this is what it is when it's really not what it is. You people need to wake up, okay? Be awake. Stop with this hypocrisy. Stop with the victims. Stop with all that, bro. You're half white, okay? You're half white. I'm talking about, oh, you don't know the black experience. You're half white. Apparently, your dad shouldn't be a racist if he, if he, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, if he had a baby with a black girl. I, I mean, for a person that want to be racist, I don't think they would have a baby with a black girl. That's just me. It's having your neighborhood gentrified. It's having your district redlined. It's having your health needs be dismissed. It's having you be perceived as overly aggressive when you're not. So to tell me that you as a white person... Ex First of all, before you finish talking, go wash your hands, dude. I don't know what you ate, but you should not be talking on the camera with your hands looking like that is disgusting. Anyways, back it up a little bit. Having your district redlined. It's having your health needs be dismissed. It's having you be perceived as overly aggressive when you're not. So to tell me that you as a white person experience racism the same way black people do, that's just absurd. You're half white, I'm, bro. I don't. Uh, oh my god. Let me. Let me, bro. You people. I don't know if this school brainwashed her because she's at HBCU. But dude, do you not recognize that you're half white? Okay, you're half white, bro. That that's what I want you to get through your head. You're half white. You're you're basically talking down on white people. And guess what? I don't know. You have white. I'm, I'm confused. How are you talking down to white people when you're half? Bro, people are so stupid. Okay, if I'm half white, I'm not going to talk down and say, oh, white people don't experience the racism. Like, dude, you just, I swear, bro. And, and for you to talk down at your father's funeral, that, bro, that within itself already shows your character. Okay, that within you, then you talking about your, your father. You say you, when your father wants to spend time with you. And then if you all listen to the sound, Okay, y'all listen to the sound of the video when she said her father wants to spend time with her. It was like uh, cash, credit, or something. Basically, she's asking for money. You know, she asked for money as if she, like, you don't even deserve. You, I don't even think you deserved a father, if you want to be honest. Bro, I didn't grow up with a father, and I would, bro, I would give up everything just to spend one day with my father. At least one day. I didn't even grow up with a father. I don't think it's because the man didn't want to be in my life or whatever. Okay, I don't know the backstory. I just know he died when I was three. I'm 19 now. So for you to even have a father and your father passes away and you talking this disrespectful at his funeral, that shows your character. You need to grow up. You need to seriously grow up. Anyways, man, y'all let me, I'm so speechless right now. I don't have anything else to say about this video. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this. Okay. Uh, 
this woman is seriously she needs help bro she needs help i don't know who who brain she needs help bro anyways y'all let me know what y'all think about this video in the comment section below hit the like button subscribe to my post notification i love each and every one of y'all thank you for 73k bro we might be at 74k by the end of tonight you know what i'm saying so keep liking the videos keep going crazy what y'all doing man i appreciate every last one of y'all god bless stay blessed peace